What do you think happens to most of your job applications? As a recruiter, I've seen more resumes trashed than I can begin to explain. In fact, companies are designed to automatically reject three out of four applications right off the bat. But what most don't know is there's a far superior way to actually get into a higher paying position. I've been a recruiter for over 15 years and there's a major problem with people just randomly applying to jobs. Now I'm not saying that no one gets hired that just applies to a company, but there's a major uphill battle that goes on behind the scenes that no one in the job market ever sees. And over my career, I've been told to never share this information with candidates but I've been on endless calls where job seekers are frustrated because they don't know the reason why they're not getting selected. So here's some of the major reasons why applications do not work. The number one and main reason is a three letter curse word called ATS. And that stands for applicant tracking system. Now the purpose of this system is to store every person's application that has ever applied to a job ever. Now I know that that sounds good in theory, but if you've ever gotten an email from a company or a call from a recruiter saying, thank you for your interest and we'll keep your information on file, don't get your hopes up. See, a lot of the times, those are templated emails to sugarcoat things to make you feel like you had a positive experience with that company's job application process. But the reality is, most of these applicant tracking systems have hundreds of thousands, if not millions of resumes from past applicants. And the chances of a recruiter backtracking to find a specific resume is slim to none. And what's even more eye-opening is that these systems use AI that are programmed to weed out 75% of applications before they're even seen by a human being. And for job seekers, there's really no getting around this because practically every single company that hires uses an applicant tracking system. But that's not the only hurdle. Let's say you actually make it past the applicant tracking system and you have a recruiter to review your resume. You might think that that increases your chances of advancing in the process. Well, let me explain how this works exactly. See, anytime a position is opened, it's assigned to a recruiter who is responsible for finding someone to fill that position. And oftentimes recruiters are held to quotas where the company judges them on how much time it takes for them to fill that position. And some companies can have goals to fill every position within a 30 or 45 day period. So because of that pressure, recruiters have to move fast. So we don't take a lot of time reviewing applications. In fact, on average, a recruiter spends between six to seven seconds reviewing any singular resume. And in most cases, we're not even reading your resume. We're really only looking for one or two keywords that makes us think that you're qualified to do the job. So if your resume is not written well, it's almost a guarantee that the recruiter is going to reject your application as soon as they look at it. Now I have plenty of examples of what not to do on a resume, but the one that I wanted to share has almost a 100% rate of getting rejected. And that's putting your headshot on your resume. Unless you're a model or an actor, your picture has no business on your resume. I can say from personal experience, anytime that I've pulled up a resume with a headshot, I've rejected it instantly. And even data shows that nearly 90% of resumes with the headshot get rejected as soon as a recruiter opens it. So as you can see, the system is broken and simply applying to a job only gives you a one in 10 shot of advancing in the process. Now, before I go over the alternative way of actually landing new jobs over my career, I've talked to thousands of people who are looking to earn more money at work. So because of that, I've put together a free guide that lists the top 10 highest paying jobs that do not require a college degree. So if you're interested in that, it'll be linked in the show notes below, or you can visit nodytribe.com jobs to download the guide for free. Now there's an interesting way data shows that 80% of jobs are filled in the method that statistics prove that has the highest rate of success for landing higher paying jobs is networking through your personal and professional connections. Now that might seem obvious, but I've talked to tons of job seekers who struggle to find work that are neglecting to take advantage of people in their circle. But what a lot of people don't realize is that networking can come in many different forms. Let's say that your uncle used to work with someone who's friends with the director of an e-commerce company that just announced a hiring ramp. 
Or you just call a couple of your friends and let them know you're looking for a new job and one of their companies just opened up a few positions last week. These types of scenarios happen every day and it gives people an advantage by bypassing the applicant tracking system and bypassing recruiters by referring your resume directly into the hands of a decision maker. And in fact, most jobs are never even posted to public job boards because someone's already lined up for the position as a result of networking. Funny story, I used to work for a company called KBR years and years ago, and they're a government defense contractor based out of Houston, Texas. Now KBR stands for Kellogg, Brown, and Root, but the running joke was that KBR stood for Kinfolk, Brothers, and Relatives, because that's literally all that they hired. And as funny as that is, there's a ring of truth to it, and it all revolves around networking through your personal and professional connections to land a job and I've seen a lot of people hired, and in a lot of cases, they're not even the most qualified for the position, and that's the power of networking. Now, if you wanna start growing your network so that you have better chances of landing higher paying jobs, there's a few things that you can do right now. And the first one is that if you do not have a profile created on LinkedIn, you need one. Now, LinkedIn is the largest professional networking platform in the world, and they have about 60 million employers that use the platform to connect with potential candidates for current as well as future job openings. Not only can you use LinkedIn to connect with companies and hiring managers, but recruiters also use this tool every day to reach out to people about open jobs. Another way that you can grow your network fast is by joining online or local networking groups. And one great resource for that is meetup.com and meetup.com specializes in connecting professionals with similar interests across many different industries, and they regularly host seminars, workshops, and different events that can help you grow your network. Another good way to help you actually land a new job is to join up with a recruiting agency. And if you've never heard of or worked with an agency before, Really how it works is they're a middleman that helps a company fill their positions. A lot of the times, if a company is struggling to hire someone with a certain background, whether it be in healthcare, finance, technology, they'll reach out to these recruiting agencies to help them hire. The reason why this is a good way to expand your network is that recruiting agencies only get paid once they fill that company's positions. So they are incentivized to help you be successful in every step of the way. So generally they can give you insight about the interview process and prepare you for what to expect. Now, if you are really looking to increase your income, as a recruiter, I can attest to the fact that if you work for a technology related company, you're typically going to get paid more regardless of the position that you work in. But especially if you work in IT or software engineering or something similar, these are the highest paying jobs that are in the market now. And the absolute best way from my experience to grow your network and actually break into six figure jobs is going through an online certification program. And the reason why I say that is these programs partner directly with companies to learn about the jobs that they do. Then they turn around and build courses that give people hands on training on the specific jobs that these companies hire for. And then once a student gets certified, the company will turn around and hire them directly after course completion because they already know how to do the job. And not only do these programs get you certified, they can also help you write your resume, they provide interview coaching, and they give you continued job placement assistance just for being a part of their community. I've personally created offers for these students that have doubled their income. And right now, this is one of the best online certification programs on the market. A recent study shows the average person spends over $30,000 on an education, often leading to both underpaying and unfulfilling jobs. If we actually wanna start making more money in more meaningful careers, we cannot follow this trend any longer. Thankfully, there's a modernized service called Course Careers that thousands of people are using to land some of the highest paying jobs in the industry. By attending one of their hands-on training programs, you can get certified and hired into jobs with up to $80,000 starting salaries in just eight weeks. Whether you're more passionate about working with products or people, Course Careers offer certifications in technology sales, software design, customer success, and more. This is the fastest and most affordable way to start or change your career. And the best thing is, 
they partner directly with employers that hire their students straight out of training. You can check out everything Course Careers has to offer by tapping the link in the show notes below and get $50 off of your program by using code JUSTNOTIFIED50. You don't want to miss out. So sign up and start your path to a higher paying job today. Now, one of the biggest success stories in my career is when I worked with a student that was sent to me through this program. His name was Alvin, and I remember looking at his resume and thinking he doesn't really fit the job that we have open. But because of the program recommendation, we went ahead and put him through the interview process. And I remember in my first call with Alvin, he mentioned that he was making $52,000 in his customer service slash technical support role. Over the next couple of weeks, Alvin met with two of the team members and one of the senior managers. And I remember it like it was yesterday. I had gotten an email from the hiring manager that said they wanted me to create an offer for Alvin with a base salary of $87,500 plus a 10% annual bonus. He was making $52,000 before. He had nearly doubled his income and he was knocking on the door of a six-figure salary. Now, this was over a year ago, so there's no doubt in my mind that Alvin's making over $100,000 right now. Now, this is just one of the many examples that I have from my time in recruiting, but it shows that merely applying to jobs just doesn't work. And if you run the numbers down, submitting job applications gives you about a 10% chance of actually landing the job. So if we really want to make more money, we have to change our approach. If you're getting any value from the show, please like and subscribe on YouTube and give it a five-star rating on podcast because it helps spread this information to other people. And if you're looking for even more ways to make money, stay tuned and I'll be back shortly. Mm -hmm.